Listen, I just picked up Valorant, so don't judge me for the clips in this video. But I do know how to set up a voice changer to use in game, and it's super easy. Let me show you. Okay, you cover me this time, okay? Cover me. First, you want to download and install voice mod by going to voicemod.net and clicking right here. After installing it, it'll ask you to select your microphone, select your headphones, and you're good to go. It actually creates a virtual microphone that you can select in any application, and you're in. This is the voice box. This is where you're going to select any of the voices that you want by just clicking on them. You're going to find extra options to the right to customize those voices. And then bottom left is where you'll have all the control. You can click on hear myself to monitor and listen to what other people will hear. There's voice changer to activate or deactivate the voice changer. And then you'll see background effects because certain voice changers come with their own background effects. I'm under the water. Please help. All right. So now in Valorant, we're going to find the settings. We can go top right here or press escape on our keyboard. We're then going to click on settings, then audio, then voice chat. Find input device, and this is where we're going to pick our virtual audio device. You'll see here, microphone, voice mod, virtual audio device. And that's all you have to do. People in game will hear your voice changer now. Dip, dip, potato chip. Yes. Now to make it more practical while you're playing Valorant, you can set up keybinds for each voice. At the bottom of the options, you'll see add keybind. Click once and then type the combination. So now you can easily switch voices without having to tab out. One enemy right side, right side. Nice. If you would like to deactivate the voice changer and speak in your normal voice, there's two ways to do this. You can either set a keybind to go back to the clean one, or you can go to settings, keybinds, and set a keybind for the voice changer on and off. Mine is control nine, so if we go down there and I press it and press it again, this is what it's doing. Get wrecked. Oh, one more thing. Right in the same software, you actually have access to a soundboard with a bunch of sounds that you can already use. But on top of that, there's something called community sounds, which is sound effects uploaded by the community. So you can find all your memes here, like this one. Now I can add it to my personal soundboard by clicking right here, add to soundboard, and then picking my soundboard. And there it is, alongside my other sounds. <laughs> and just like the voice changers, you can set up a keybind for each one of them. Wicked. What? What? <laughs> now, if you have something like the Elgato Stream Deck, make sure you go to their store and find the voice mod plugin. It'll be way easier. You can set up your soundboard, your voice changer, your background effects. You can mute, pick a random voice, toggle the hear myself, toggle the voice changer, and everything else. You wanna go? You wanna go? Let's go, dude. Nice. nice. Well done, team. Let's do this. Oh, watch out. No. Make them regret their choice of profession. Okay. He's believing. He can do it. Oh no! Are you ready? Nice hair. I like it. I messed up. That's my bad. Let's go. Got him. Let's go! Fight down, B. How did I survive that? What? Let's go. <laughs> Unlucky. We'll get them next time. My grandson would Last not be proud. I did that. Let's make him dance. Let's make him dance. Flawless victory. Nice. Flawless. Flawless victory. Now do your best to try and be funny and not disruptive while playing Valorant with this. And keep in mind that this is just a couple of examples of what voice mod can do. For the rest, I'll let you check it out over at voicemod.net and you can try it out today.